Hello, everyone, and welcome to our talk about Guidebot, Guided Bootstrap for Deep Contextual Balance in Online Advertising. My name is Fei Yang Pan from the Institute of Computing Technology, Chinese Academy of Sciences. This is a joint work with Tencent. So to start with, we know that online advertising and recommender systems have achieved significant success in recent years with the progress of deep learning for its ability to model complex deep dependencies between users, ads, and contacts. However, on the other hand, online advertising can also be viewed as a massive decision-making problem, which means that the system needs to deliver the right ads to the right users. So it is challenging because when it is a decision-making problem, the system can only receive feedback through interaction with the users. So the system has to deal with the trade-off between exploration and exploitation. We know that such problems can be formulated as a contextual multi-armed bandits, also known as contextual bandits. There are two major tracks for contextual multi-armed bandits, which are Bayesian methods and non-Bayesian methods. Bayesian methods provide guided exploration by estimating the model uncertainty with Bayesian posterior inference and make decisions thereby. For example, we have LinUCB for linear bandits. However, these methods are difficult to scale because when the problem has high dimensional inputs or nonlinear dependencies, exact probabilistic inference is often intractable. In contrast, non-Bayesian methods do not require a specific functional form of the underlying model, so they are more suitable for complex problems. So people often use some typical choices of non-Bayesian methods, such as the epsilon greedy heuristic or the bootstrap heuristic. However, the exploration behavior for non-Bayesian methods are not explicitly guided, so the overall policy might eventually degenerate to a suboptimal greedy policy and therefore it still remains largely unsolved to develop practical methods for complex deep contextual bandits. So in this paper, we propose a novel contextual bandit algorithm named Guided Bootstrap, also Guideboot for short, which combines the best of both Bayesian and non-Bayesian methods. The high-level idea of Guideboot is to provide explicit uncertainty-based guidance to the bootstrap resampling behavior. Now let me briefly describe our guideboot method. So firstly, guideboot maintains k independently trained reward models. And then we can randomly select one model to predict the scores of the actions. And finally, we choose the action with the maximum score. These three steps are exactly the same steps in the traditional bootstrap exploration method. But in contrast to previous methods, we not only use different subsets of collected samples to train the models, but also randomly generate a small number of fake samples while training the models, so as to enable distributional predictions and preclude overfeeding. Particularly, every fake sample is generated by randomly changing the reward signal of a real sample, and the probability of generating such a fake sample is in proportion to the predictive uncertainty of the reward. In this way, unfamiliar contexts and rarely chosen actions can have chance to be explored. Now, in this figure, we show the inference and training procedure of Guideboot. The solid lines are feedforward passes for inference. So firstly, we have k models. And then for each query, we randomly choose one model out of the k models to make the prediction. And the dashed lines are for training, which includes a data generation process for each model. And in this part, as mentioned before, the probability of generating a fake sample is determined by the guidance function. So now let me briefly introduce the guidance function. So the essence of the guidance function is that it represents the uncertainty about the input. So for example, when we use some simple count-based method, we can define the guidance function as alpha divided by the VZ count of the action. And similarly, we can also use sophisticated Bayesian methods such as Bayesian neural networks to provide the guidance function. And then the second part of this paper is that we also provide a new version of Guideboot, which is the online Guideboot, which means that we can use Guideboot in an online learning scenario. The reason why we need online guideboot is that storing the full historical experience buffer and resampling from it is not possible in real applications. So we need online learning with streaming data. So our solution is that we use shuffling and mini-batching instead of resampling 
So for example, in this figure, we show that there are streaming data coming in and we store a huge batch of streaming data as an online buffer. And then we shuffle the online buffer into some mini batches. And for each batch, we use the guidance function to provide the fake samples. And finally, we can use the shuffled mini batches of real samples and fake samples to train the different models. So in this figure, we show the workflow of online guideboot, which has two parts. The first part is the learning part. We receive the feedback from the users, and then we send it to a message queue. We use a uncertainty estimator to provide the uncertainty. Then we send the data to the guideboot data flow to provide the fake samples. And finally, these samples are sent to the gradient-based learner to train the models. And then we come to the serving part. We randomly select one model from the backend cluster to make the decision. To show the effectiveness of guideboot, we provide two sets of experiments. The first set of experiment is on some synthetic tasks. So in this first toy data, we see that guideboot and online guideboot both outperforms classic contextual banding methods. Then, in the second set of experiments, we collected five days of advertising logs from Tencent, from the real environment. So in which record, we provide the context of the request, a candidate pool, and the click-through rate of each context ad pair given by a sophisticated black box user model. From the results, we can see that guideboot and online guideboot can outperform the previous methods with a large margin. That's all for our talk, and thank you so much for listening.